Okay everybody, welcome back. This is Chris. Um, we're going to add on to the previous tutorial that I was doing, which is basically adding a Java web service that's handling a post request. If you recall, we created this very simple application and we tested it with the Postman app that we have over here, which is a third party tool where you can actually test URL requests and then see the appropriate response. Um, so you can see here just a quick you know, summary of what we did last time. Um, basically have this URL that is associated to this servlet. This servlet is going to get a request and then it's going to route it to this method here. And all it's going to do, it's going to not do any processing on any inputs. It's just going to simply say hello from the Java web service post. And if you go back over here, you see that's exactly what we have here. Um, and this first service you are uh, first service call portion of the URL is associated to this class by this web XML which if you recall we have the servlet section that ties this class here to this servlet name and then in the servlet mapping just using the same name and you can choose any name but make sure they're the same between these two sections and then you define the URL pattern which is basically the second portion of the URL that we saw in the postman app so um, if we try to pick a bogus, you know, second portion here, let me just add like one, one, um, we should get some sort of failed response because that URL does not exist. And you can see here, you know, 404 page not found, um, because there is no such URL pattern defined in this PyR server running this app. So let me go ahead and just take that back out, resend you're going to see this response back. Perfect. And what we're going to do right now is something very simple. We're handling a post request. Now we're going to handle another common request that uh, is used by many people and that is a get. So pretty much it's the exact same method that we're going to create here, except instead of calling it do post, we're going to call it do get. Parameters are the same. Uh, to make some sort of distinction, I'm just going to change the response from saying hello from Java web service post to hello from Java web service get. And uh, what we're going to do here, this part's not necessary, but I just do that just because. And uh, let's recompile here. You can forget these other applications that I have open, but this is the one sample Maven web app that I've been uh, showing in the last tutorial. I'm going to recompile everything because even though, you know, every single time you make a change and you save, it says that sample maven web app is successfully deployed uh, not all the time does it actually get your changes so it's always safe to just clean and build after you have a you know some sort of change and then rerun the app which will basically redeploy it back onto the PyHour server and then what's running at that point should have the changes that you just put in so let's wait for this to finish okay perfect and now let me rerun it Okay, perfect. If you remember last time, it, this is when you rerun a web service, it's going to bring the default uh, text within the XML file or the index HTML file, which is a simple hello world. You can ignore that. Um, so what we're going to do now actually is we're going to change this post to a get. And you just click on that arrow there and select the get. The, the URL is exactly the same, so we're not going to change anything else. Um, the base URL plus the actual URL pattern that's associated to the servlet. But since this is a get, uh, this servlet knows that this method here is going to be what's handling this request. So let me click send. Hello from the Java web service get, which is exactly what we have over here. And uh, if we just kind of play around, oh, hold on. Just bring this back over to post. You see the response from the other method. So that's pretty much that. Um, so I'm going to take a small break right now, but what I'm going to do after this is going to create another application, a front end application where we can actually get, uh, see how we can make the request code wise from another app into this back end server and, uh, basically nullifying the need to use the Postman app because uh, 
you know, you're going to write web applications and you're going to need to know how to do this. So I might roll that into this video. I might make another video. I'll decide on that. But uh, here is basically another quick sample of how to create a uh, web service to handle posts and get requests.